Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around these parts, hello. Thank you so, so much for clicking. In today's video, I'm doing my April kit lineup. This is going to go up today with any luck and today is Tuesday, April 2nd. So if you're watching it today, give myself a round of applause because really it's nothing short of a miracle given what my life is like currently. But y'all ain't here for that. Let's get right into it because you know, you know, these are long because I have two, well, I say I have two planners. I haven't done a single thing in my non-filming planner, but you will see a lineup for my filming and my non-filming planner. Um, to be honest lately, I haven't done a thing in my filming planner either, but it's fine. April 1st, let's start there. We are using Walking in the Rain. I feel like I'm definitely gonna be twinning with a few folks with this lineup, because there's a lot of, I feel like just typical April kits in here. So let me know down below for twinning as always, but I'm planning to use Walking in the Rain from Caress Prius is so cute i think we're actually this is the week that i'm filming it is actually the week that i'm going to be using it which is funny i think we're supposed to get rain today tomorrow like for the rest of the end of the week it's supposed to be rainy and snowy so this should be pretty on brand for the times um and also it's kind of just been a rainy <laughs> a rainy day this week if that makes sense where it's just life is not the best at the moment but we're going to get through it as we always do. Um, anyways, walking in the rain, full boxes, love the kit, the dominoes, immaculate, the dominoes, immaculate. I love the socks. I love the double box scene. This cat looks scared to death. <laughs> like, who hurt you, cat? Who hurt you? Oh, now that I'm seeing the little clouds on his little shirt, the clouds would be cute. And that's not what I got. Like the cloud underlays from Planet Hannah would have been cute, but that's not what I got. I don't think I have it in me to order them now because she just, actually, yes, she just had a sale. It ended yesterday and I already know that processing time going to be wild. So I think I might just use what I got. Anyways, I'm supposed to be talking less and I'm talking more. Full boxes. Here we go. Um, we've got extras. So we've got all the extra gal, the gal pals. I couldn't decide which gal I wanted. So I got all of them in the couple. Super coat super coat um and then we've got let me put these over here then we've got the tall box and i love this bed scene like truly love this bed scene and then we have our solids page our patterns oh, more clouds okay but at least we got the raindrops which i do have <laughs> i'm like i should have gotten the clouds 15 millimeter um your glitter header page I love this extra box I think it's so cute so cute you got your sidebar goodies your little things bottom washi that full box of all the board games which I feel like we need to get Candyland a random thought but I said that to Bay. I was like why don't we have Candyland and he's like yeah we need Candyland so I might have to get that um and the deco page and that is walking in the rain for April, the week of April 1st. Let's put all these babies in here. And then for foil, I have a bundle from Planner Choco just came in. It is the rainy day bundle in matte silver. I think silver could have worked. I also think blues and purples could have worked beautifully, like a purple hollow would have been cute. But I decided to go with matte silver. I don't do matte silver very often. Um, but I do think it kind of brings out some of the grays in the kit, which are kind of less than the blues and purples. So I thought it might be a nice contrast. So we'll see how it looks laid down. But I think I posted on Instagram a poll or a question asking like what foils you guys would use. And matte silver was one of the ones that came up. So shout out to whoever suggested matte silver, because clearly that's what I ended up going with. I'm holding this upside down, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> We've got the first page of full boxes. You have your washi headers page. I did get an alternate just because I wasn't sure which one of these washies I like better. But to be honest, I'm kind of, I liked the open umbrella more, but I don't know. Now I'm kind of leaning towards the other umbrella. So we'll see. This is exactly why I got both. <laughs> I have the add-on page. So I have some extra full box overlays, specialty headers, date dots, the little raindrop deco, whole reinforcers. I did get some full box overlays just to have a couple more. 
in case I do extenders, but also to throw in some of these like deco corners, which I really like. And then I have two pages of the raindrop underlays as well. So that is what I'm planning to use for the week of April 1st. So for April 8th, I am using the SPC December mystery, which I'm obsessed with. Let's just be clear. So let's just keep it a book. I'm obsessed with this kit. I actually wanted to do an idea like this for all Latin foods. Still think I'm going to do it, to be honest. Um, so when I saw this, I really loved this. Um, I really, really loved this idea. So I was obsessed with this. I love the colors. I love the food. I mean, it's food. So <laughs> you got me. You had me at food, actually. Um, <laughs> so here's the full boxes. I feel like this came out like much more recently than December, but it didn't. So you got the full boxes. I like the pastel colors, your deco page, the gals here, litter headers, patterned and solids. I'm really getting into these little like, these baby baby um, labels here, these little ones. I like these. You have your little thing page, your patterns, I was gonna say solids, your solids your bottom washi I, I kind of wish this was like a food washi like this part this is me being super picky obviously but I do kind of wish that but this does give spring like heavy spring so it's good we have the extra color which I do actually like the extra color I don't know if I want to sub it for anything because I don't have that much of it so the doodles, and then you have the extra gals and the skin tone options. The tall box is super cute. Look at her boots. Love it. Love it. I think this was such a good idea. I really love this. I think this might be the foil it came with. I know it came with the sparkly hollow. I'm like 95% sure. I'm just not sure if this was it because I, I think, I, I don't know that I put them together. Uh, put them away together but I think this was it so this is just sparkly hollow I think sparkle format I'm not sure exactly what the format is but pretty standard nothing too crazy so we've got two pages of the full box overlays header overlays two pages of the bougie we have the scripts and icons and the bottom washi so I'm going pretty basic with this um there wasn't really any food underlays that stood out to me so that's where we're at if I happen to see some food underlays that I like maybe I'll get them but yeah I didn't really see any foodie ones that I liked so there is the week of April 8th also this is my uh, filming planner that I'm starting with I don't know if I specified that but for the week of April 15th this is the week of my planner besties birthday Katerina of the narcoleptic planner and we love she over here. So I thought this would be a fun kit to use to celebrate her birthday and to market because I love her. She's the bestest. She is the bestest. So we've got the full boxes. I did use this art. So this art was recolored recently, semi-recently, but I did use this art to celebrate Renaissance. And I kind of love that vibe <laughs> for Kat's birthday. So if she's watching this, she's probably going to laugh at me. But alas, um, we've got the full boxes. I love this more like muted tone. The more muted colors of this is just boom. I love it. I love the colors picked. It's so dang good. I think the irony of this is this is in premium matte and Kat's definitely a glossy girl. So I kind of love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have the little things. I did get some extras, extra boxes here. I love the bed scene and you have the extra girl. Then we have a couple 15 millimeters because I never can decide what the heck I want to do. <laughs> so I get them all and then I usually just save them. I like to have extra 15 millimeters in case I need them with older kits or if I'm not feeling the color of one of them, I have something to, you know, kind of dig through. Bad B energy, bad B energy. Okay, bad B energy right there. Bad B energy. Sorry, I'm trying to fix these little boxes. Okay, then we have the bottom washi. I love the bottom washi. I love the bottom washi so good, so good. Although I am ready, I think, for her to split her bottom washi, but at the same time, I want all the 15 millimeter strips. So like, I just hate cutting it. Because I suck at it. <laughs> Deco. 
Oh gosh. Anyways, foil. I'm pretty sure I got this idea from either from Erica of Plan With Me stickers or Camilla from C underscore loves planning. I'm not sure which one, maybe both. I'm not sure. But I got this idea from one of them when I think I also put this up about foil, trying to figure out foil. Also, I should tell you that I do now officially PR for Erica Shop, Plan With Me stickers. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me, Erica. Um, so you can now use my code Anna15 to save. I'll plop up my freebie here so you guys can see it. It's very Jane the Virgin inspired, and I think that's hilarious because I'm literally staring at Jane right now. <laughs> so, um, well, I should say the full box is very, the full box overlay is very Jane the Virgin expired. It expired? Inspired. And the scripts are just very me. <laughs> so, anyways, so I have a couple things here. So I think what I'm going to do is use these lavender solids and overlay them with these black balloon animals. I also have the balloon animals in lavender, so I could just nix the layering and then just do lavender. So I'm not entirely sure which way I'm gonna go, but that's the vision. And then for the rest of the foil, I'm just gonna pull in this lilac foil bundle, which I think should be Oh, interesting. This lilac is actually more matte, but I think it'll work fine, especially once everything's down. So that's what I'm going to put it away with. I could also use a black foil bundle. I might ask Kat what she thinks since this will be to celebrate her, but yeah, some combo of that is probably where we're going to land for that. So there is... Oops, yeah, <laughs> there is the week of April 15th. And then for the week of April 22nd, April 22nd, yes, I am using the SPC merch mystery. I, this is kind of subject to change. I really want to use this for a paint night. And based off how my life is now, it's pretty shambly. So I don't know when I'll be able to get to a paint night, but I'm hoping between now in the end of the month that I can actually get to one. So we'll see, but I love this set. I think it's so pretty. I just love it. I just love it. It brings me so much nostalgia. I think I said this in the haul that, I don't think that haul has gone live yet, but um, it brings me so much nostalgia because I was in an art camp pretty much every summer from like, God, like elementary school maybe into like middle school possibly and it was just my favorite place <laughs> my favorite place to be and I should have I should have known there that I probably should have been more of a creative but alas <laughs> here we are in and at this gym uh full boxes stunning this girl is absolutely beautiful I love the rings on her hands her hair her I love this flat light. I love this. I really do. I really love this, y'all. I really do. Um, Deco. I love this box. I love this. I I think my only change would be the colors. And I think there was an extra. Maybe there was an extra color. I don't know. Um, we'll see in a second, I guess. I love this box. Like, it just reminds me of the girl who used to like assist the teacher. Oh, it's just so good. It's so good. I love it. I'm obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. This, this pattern is my favorite, I think. And then the smileys. It's just so fun. Yeah, this pink color, I think is what I need. <laughs> I need like 25 more of that pink color. That's the problem. I only have a little bit. Um, we have the extra girls. We have another extra color orange. See, this is where you're like, oh, the color scheme. Um, but I still love this kid, so whatever. <laughs> this girl reminds me of her because I think, I don't think she had like the dual colors, but yeah, it's just the vibes. I don't know. I don't know. And then more girls. I can't. I love this so much. I really, like, really, really love this. So for foil, I decided to go with gold hollow, and I got the 
artist bundle. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Why is it literally backwards? I cannot with myself. Um, I got the artist foil bundle from Planner Choco in Gold Hollow. I think that that is a mood and a vibe. So we've got the full boxes. This is the add-on page, I think. We have the bottom washi, I'm obsessed, the paint splatter, love, and then two underlays of the paint splatter. Like, I'm just, I might need to get, because of this week, I might need to get another sheet of these underlays because I think it's gonna be extender heavy. I have quite a bit happening this week, actually. <laughs> actually quite a bit happening. Um, yeah, so. I'm so excited. Anyways, that's for the week of April 22nd. For the week of April 29th, I have this slotted tentatively because I have like two Cinco de Mayo kits and I need to just use them up. So I have a couple options for foil, but here is the kit. This is Via Fiesta from last year from Caress Press. This was basically a recolored art from Sadie Piper Designs, but the colors are just so good. As usual, Sadie... Sadie Piper Designs doesn't really miss, I feel like. So we've got the full boxes. There's so many. This box is so adorable to me because this reminds me of my boss's dog. And I'm just obsessed with my boss's dog. She's such a mood. And this is giving me heavy, heavy Winnie vibes. Um, we've got the gals. Whoops. We've got the tall box. The extra boxes. I love one of the things I adore about Sadie Piper Designs are is she just gives you so much to work with as a shop owner. That's a dream. <laughs> like, that is a dream to not have to worry about running out of clip art. A dream. I'm obsessed. The colors are so good for this. Ooh, the colors are just immaculate. Immaculate colors, bro. This, I love this, you guys. This. This reminds me of my dad, which right now will make me way too emotional to get into, but just know I'm obsessed with this because I love him so effing much. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Bottom washi. We have another box here. Oh, this is fun. I don't think I noticed that the cactus had the little like rings. What do you call that? Like, what do you call this game? Ring toss? Something like that? I don't know but it's cute. Um, then we have the deco page. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Holds, holds. We have a mess on our hands. A mess. Hold. Okay. I got myself together. So yeah, via Fiesta and then foil. I have this Fiesta foil from Caress Press. So we could very well do this. It's obviously perfectly themed. I just don't know that I'm vibing with this foil color. This is my problem. This is my situation. I just don't know that I'm vibing with the foil color, y'all. Like, I kind of want to do a fun foil. Or funner than this. I guess this is kind of a fun foil. But I kind of want to do a fun foil because I feel like this is just screaming. These colors are screaming for a fun foil. So, this is what I have pulled. I don't know if I'm going to go with it. I feel like magenta could be fun. Like, a magenta hollow could be fun. But I have this green hollow foil bundle from SPC that I think would be cute. It's not an exact match to all the greens, but it does kind of match that lime color pretty well, like that guac color, there's another lime. So like there's places for it. I don't know which way I'm gonna end up going, but here's what I have slotted so far. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like a magenta would be pretty, magenta hollow would be pretty. Two, um, let me take a look at the colors in the kit again. Okay, I do kind of like that the green is not a prominent color, whereas the magenta would be. Ooh, confetti orange could be a vibe with this too. Ooh, confetti orange. Confetti orange would be a vibe. Okay, here's like the magenta hollow I'm thinking. Obviously, I would not use. I feel like I like that better, y'all. Obviously, I would not use this particular kit because it doesn't match the pops at all, but... Anyways, I'll probably put it away with both and then it'll have to be a game time decision, assuming nothing changes in my lineup, which is a whole nother uh, ask. That's another tall ask. Um, whoops. So yeah, so I don't know which way I'm going to end up swerving there, but okay, all right. I know I have to get you in. 
So like, don't be, don't be rude. There we go. There we go. There's no need for you to be rude. So I'm going to put it away with both of these. And like I said, game time decision. But let me know your foil suggestions for this. I just, I'm feeling the hollows. Like not necessarily hollow, but like pink hollow, magenta hollow, purple hollow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to... Matte gold could be fun too. I don't know. I always go back and forth with fun foils because I'm like, do I want to use a color that matches like one of the core colors or do I want to do something else? I don't know. The green hollow I feel like could be a total vibe, but I'm afraid I could also hate it. So I don't know. Y'all tell me down below, please, via Fiesta, what you guys think for foil. I am very, very unsure for that one. But I feel like I've been relatively sure for my other ones, which is kind of amazing <laughs> considering how I am. Okay, moving on. Where are we at? We're at 24 minutes. It's pretty on brand. Okay, non-filming planner. Here we go. April 1st, I have the March Mystery from SPC slotted. This has been reformatted um, and brought back to the shop. So if you want it, you can go and grab it. Um, this kit is very, very beautiful. I especially love this girl. And yeah, it's just the colors give me very much spring vibes. It's definitely like very in memoriam. It's very in memoriam kit, um, which is just not something I can think about right now, to be quite honest. I just, I, I just can't. Um, so I'm going to use it as what it is. And yeah, I just don't know that I would be able to even plan if I had to use this for an in memoriam, to be quite frank at least um, immediately after so yeah the bunny is super cute super cute oh this color is gorgeous i love this color the gals this tall box with the rainbow is beautiful i think this is also appropriate for this week because again this is the week i'm currently living and it's been very hard on the caregiving front so this still feels very appropriate even though it's not an in memoriam okay um then for the week of april 8th this is when the eclipse is is coming out doing its thing <sighs> coming out i saw it sounds like it's an album it's not an album anna <sighs> i'm unwell okay um yeah we're using this eclipse kit from caress press just because this art is phenomenal and i want to support painted lilacs art as much as effing possible um and i can't do every set that she comes out with unfortunately but i can certainly buy the kit even if i don't purchase the set and release it in shop so i absolutely adore this i think that she killed this art her new you guys her new honor set for AAPI month is just effing phenomenal. I just, I'm rubbing my head right now because it hurts because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's so good. Anyways, we'll get to that in my make it lineup. For now, Eclipse, full boxes, love, love the colors. Got some washi because you know how it is. I'm indecisive. Got some extra fashion peeps here. Love this one of the friends or the two girls. So cute, especially if you're doing doing it with friends. I think that's that's fun. Um, patterns, you have your glitter headers, sidebar goodies, little thing, bottom washi, and then your deco page. So that is Eclipse. And then for foil, I was gonna order you guys like, the moon and stars underlays but i'm like you know what anna use your stash so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this pretty shimmer foil bundle from spc that i think does the whole job of stars just on its own it's very much giving stars what i can do is if i get a navy blue solid underlays on these i think that'll be a whole vibe but i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that yet but either way this is what i'm planning to use with it so two pages of the full box overlays and headers, two pages of the bougie. We have your scripts icons and then your bottom washi. So that's what I'm planning to pair with it. Like I said, I might try to get myself some like night sky resembling, um, oh God, 
what the heck. <laughs> Night sky resembling underlays, like solids. And layer them with this. I also think hollow, sparkly hollow could be a vibe with this because of the warmer tones in the like oranges and that like maroon color, I thought the gold would look better, so. But I think both could work. And I think layered with some navy blue underlays, boom. This is a very heavy caress press vibe. All right, more caress press. Is the last one caress? Yes, okay, this is leaning more caress press. Okay, for the week of April 15th, again, Kat's birthday, I wanted to use a fun kit because she my friend and she fun. And this is so stinking adorable. So, and I want us to go to a carnival together or go to Disney together or do something fun together. So I'm just gonna manifest it by using this for her birthday week. Um, so we've got full boxes. This stinking hippo is so stinking cute. So stinking cute, Oh, obsessed. 15 millimeter. This is the March mystery. I don't know if I said that from Caress Press. I got three of these because apparently I really want to bring in this yellow. So I better bring it, bring it in. Maybe I'll color block. Ooh. I don't know. Um, but we've got four of the extra color because, you know, we can't ever have too much, I guess. Extra box with the raffle, raffle tickets. And then y'all know the drill by now with the format. So I'm just going to flip on through. I just love this kit. It's so pretty, so pretty. And I feel like this is also a fun like spring summer transition. I think it could be used in either one, but because of the colors, I feel like it leans a bit more spring to me or late spring to me. So, so cute. I was hoping that this ice cream had sprinkles. You'll see in a second why. <laughs> and then we have the deco page. So man down, hold on, box down. So for this, I have hollow, hollow carnival foil from Alicia Craft, like, and I have apparently a little thing from SPC as well, but here is the carnival foil bundle from Alicia Craft. You have the full box overlays. You have two pages of the bougie. You have the headers page, bottom washi, and then you have this extra add-on page. So fun. I picked up this, I think I picked this up to use with the SPC Carnival kit, but alas. Um, I picked up the SPC kind of little, um, what do you call this? Carnival themed like a la carte foil pickup with the washi, the full box overlay, the little deco bits and the headers. And then I have some more just bobs and stuff from Alicia Craft. I think this was a leftover in hollow, so. We've got the full box overlays. I love the one with the little bear hanging onto the balloon. That's adorable. You have the little dangles. More overlays with the rides. You have the carnival quotes. And then I have two more carnival underlays, which I'm realizing is not enough. <laughs> I'm realizing, and I don't, I don't really want to use this, but I might have to end up using these sparse ones and maybe I'll just layer them with bougie and call it a day. We'll see. Um, so I do have the sprinkle foil bundle. This is in like a sparkly hollow. So I feel like I have it in a hollow as well. I just don't know what I did with it. It might be in this pile over here in front of me actually. Um, but I'll show it to you in sparkly hollow for the time being. But this would be super cute with this kit, I think. So I have two um, full box overlays, header overlays. We have the bottom wash. I love the dripping ice cream. I think that's such a cute vibe. Scripts and icons. And then we have two pages of Debushi. So I'm going to see if I can find the hollow. And then I'll probably just kind of mix and match. I would love some sprinkle underlays though for this. So I might have to hop on Alicia Craft's website because I think she has sprinkle underlays. Ugh. Okay. If I can find the hollow version of this. There's that. And then finally for the week of oh, April 22nd. I actually have don't have something slotted for the week of April 29th. Okay, so this is for the week of April 22nd. 
And I guess I don't have anything for April 29th. I thought I did. All right, you guys. I'm going to show you, well, you saw it in a sec. Let me go through the kit first. So um, I have Caress Press September Mystery from last year. It's the goth doll mystery, which I'm obsessed with the aesthetic. As you all know, it is just so effing good. It's so good. So good. This one, like, the, it's so good. Love the colors. Just love everything. Everything. Like, look at these extra boxes, you guys. Mm-mm. -mm. This is so disrespectful. <laughs> so disrespectful. Extra color. I just, I can't. I, I cannot. I've realized that I can't. The girls. Mm -mm. Deco page. So cute. So, okay. Tell me what y'all think. I have this. I think this is the Magenta Hollow punk foil bundle from SPC. And I thought it wouldn't work, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it kind of works. I got the lilac one. I just ordered it, so it's not here yet. But I kind of like this, actually. Like, a lot. I kind of like this. I think I'm going to stick to this. This will be cute. Um, the only thing I don't like is the skeleton washi, so I need to find something to replace it with that's the same color. So I'm going to Oh, wait, actually, I actually don't care if it's these hearts, to be honest, but I think I have a magenta. Oh, no, that's pink. Crap. This is pretty close because I don't care about using the top heart washi. There's hearts. There's a heart. I would use it. Should I put them both away? Let's put them both away this one first um yeah because I don't really like the skeleton bottom washi for this like it doesn't yeah mm, yeah I think I would have liked this better again this is me being super nitpicky and giving an opinion no one asked for I uh, see I think this is great for Halloween the dancing skeleton but if it was just skulls uh, amazing amazing for these punk mo moments um, but obviously I'm still going to slot it in together because I think it is a mood and a vibe. Yeah, at first I thought the colors wouldn't work, but actually I think it's perfect. I think it looks better than the lilac, so. Okay, well, I definitely did not pull anything for April 29th to the first. Like, this was actually not meant to be for it, but you know what? Maybe this is what I'll do. This one. I was just talking about how gagged this art has me. It still does. It's just so, it's so good. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I can't, we've got all the girls just like stunning, like beautiful, everything, obsessed, 15 millimeters because I can't decide, colors, fantastic, patterns, fantastic. Everything fantastic. <laughs> Boba. I, I'm so happy this exists, y'all. I can't tell you enough. Stop Asian hate. Yes. I just, I'm, I, I'm just so happy it exists. I can't. The only thing I have for foil so far, and I'm not even convinced, are these. I got some like cherry blossom things from Planner Choco. So I have the cherry blossom branch. From Planner Choco, this is in a pink hollow, and then I have the cherry blossom underlays. I don't know, next to it, I don't know how I'm feeling about the pink hollow. Like, I don't know if it's the mood and the vibe I want to go for, so it's a little disappointing because that means I would need to order something else, but we'll see. Maybe I can put something together that I'm more excited about, especially for this spread. We shall see, but alas, that is everything for my April kit lineup. Of course, we're like 500 minutes in because these videos are always just so long. And thank y'all for sticking through and watching them with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below for twinning for any of these weeks. And also please let me know what you think I should use for foil for this Via Fiesta kit specifically because I'm feeling a bit lost. And yeah. Let me actually close this because it's going to be harder to close. 
Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. And I will see y'all real, real soon. Bye.